Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss anatomy of kidney. In this video, I shall also discuss comparative anatomy of bovines, equines and canines kidney. In general, I have taken the kidney of ox and general characteristics uh, in general characteristics I shall discuss the kidney of ox. So let's start our topic. The color of bovine's kidney is reddish brown. It is a bean shaped organ with reddish brown color. It is non lobated in carnivores and small ruminants while in ox it is lob lobated. Externally it consists of many lobes that can be uh, easily uh, judged with uh, naked eye. In case of horse both kidneys are smooth but right kidney is heart shaped. So we have seen that only the kidney of ox is lobated while that of small ruminants, carnivores and equines is smooth and in case of equines right kidney is heart shaped. Kidneys are retroperitoneal organs and are found always in the form of pairs. Right kidney is more cranial than the caudal one. The cranial part of right kidney is embedded in the renal impression of the caudate lobe of liver. Kidneys are located in the abdominal cavity at thoracolumbar junction. It means that at the point where thoracic and lumbar vertebrae are joined, kidneys are present there. Both kidneys are retroperitoneal and against the carura of diaphragm. Retroperitoneal means that both kidneys are present behind the peritoneum. So, kidneys are, are not covered by the peritoneal cavity. And the other thing that they are present against the carura of diaphragm. Actually, a crust is a tendinous structure that extends below the diaphragm to the vertebral column. So, both kidneys are present against the carura of diaphragm or we can say that both kidneys lie ventral to the carura of diaphragm. There is one exception in cats and ruminants that the left kidney of cats and ruminants is not retroperitoneal but hangs in the abdominal cavity. Now let's talk about the surfaces, borders and extremities of the kidneys. Each kidney has a lateral convex border, a medial concave border, cranial and caudal extremity, visceral and parietal surface. Parietal surface faces the a vertebral column or is present dorsally while visceral surface faces visceral organs or we can say that it is uh, present ventrally or it faces ventrally. Next is the perirenal peri fat. It is actually a mass of fat and it protects the kidneys and help them to hold and helps to hold them in place. It is perirenal fat. The whole kidney is surrounded and protected by a fibrous capsule which is a loose layer made up of collagenous and elastic fibers. A pair of adrenal glands is located cranial to both the kidneys. After dissecting the kidney, the first thing that we see is the cortex, renal cortex. It is outer layer of kidney characterized by its light color and granular appearance. Then comes the renal medulla which is inner layer of kidney characterized by striations. Then comes the renal papillae. Renal papilla, what is renal papilla? It is the apex of lobule that drips urine into the proximal end of ureter. Individual papillae are found in only in ox because of the incomplete fusion of medullary pyramids. In case of ox, each uh, lobule has its own renal pyramid so its own renal papilla. In case of ox, these renal papillae drain into calyx. So calyx is a cup shaped structure present only in ox which collects urine from papillae and empties into two branches of ureter. While in case of equines, small ruminants and carnivores, there is a complete fusion of medullary pyramids and th their fusion forms a renal crest. So in ox, the incomplete fusion of medullary pyramids forms calyx while in carnivores, equines and small ruminants, the complete fusion of medullary pyramids forms renal crest. Then comes the renal sinus. 
Renal sinus is a space occupied by a ureter, branch of renal artery and vein, lymphatics and nerves that enter the kidney. It is the renal sinus. Then comes the hilus. Hilus is an opening in the renal sinus from which ureter and renal vessels enter the kidney. So hilus is an opening which only allows ureter and renal vessels to pass through it and enter the kidney. Next part is the renal pelvis which is an expanded portion of the proximal end of the ureter along with renal crest and it is absent in ox. As the kidney of ox doesn't contain renal crest, instead it contains a calyx, therefore renal pelvis is absent in ox.